Farmers who sell directly to the consumer from the farm gate or at a local market are in the minority. For most farmers, the crops and commodities and livestock they produce could literally end up anywhere in the world after they leave the farm. Now, being mindful of this reality and understanding how your farm fits into a dynamic global economy for food, it's becoming a more important management focus. Farmers hear and read a lot about exciting export market opportunities as more countries around the world look to Canada as a potential food provider. And while this news may not seem immediately relevant to your operation, it does represent a potential opportunity and change for what you produce and how you go about it. Paying attention to the global marketplace and understanding how you might be able to participate is a good habit to get into. It's difficult to go it alone to find and fulfill an export market opportunity. Grower associations have a role to play here and can help facilitate growth. Past successes with canola and pulse crops has shown that it takes a team effort involving growers, farm organizations, agribusiness, and government to carve out a niche in a new offshore market. Now, we usually think of marketing as checking commodity quotes on your smartphone and waiting for standing offers to be triggered. That's important. But it's also crucial to know your customer. Increasingly, that customer is overseas, using your products in foods that you might have trouble pronouncing. It can mean new crops and commodities, or it can mean changing how we produce existing commodities. Peter Drucker, a well-known business author, says that the aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well that the product or service fits him or her and sells itself. Now his advice holds true in agriculture too, especially if the buyer is overseas where competition is fierce. A good case study in export market management is pulses. The Canadian pulse industry has been very successful in finding and penetrating new markets, especially in Asia. Over the past 25 years, the number of countries that import Canadian pulses has grown to over 100. Now, the trade balance for pulses has gone from 900 million in 2000 to over 2 billion in 2009. Canadian pulse growers have succeeded in learning what to grow to meet buyer specifications and earning a reputation as a premium supplier that can be trusted. The pulse industry has learned that one of the first changes consumers in developing nations make once they start earning more money is to change their grocery buying habits. Being aware of consumer tastes can help you position your farm for future growth. You can start experimenting with new crops or new production methods before other producers are even aware that premiums might be coming down the pipe. You can capture some of the first mover advantage in your area. So stay curious understand the market, experiment and know the risks. When the next big export opportunity arises, you'll be positioned to benefit.